And an ACL injury is an injury to the anterior cruciate ligament, which is the, one of the main ligaments inside the knee. It has two main bundles, and it runs from the outside to the inside and from back to front. People predictably will say, I went to change direction on a planted foot and I felt something give or pop in my knee. Patients will frequently then fall to the ground and when they go to get back up, they feel their knee will give out underneath them. A good indicator of somebody has actually done something structural to be worried about is if the knee swells. So if the knee itself is swollen above the kneecap and the patient's knee becomes difficult to bend, predictably you can say something might have happened to a structure on the inside. Not only athletes tear their ACL, it's not infrequently that patients can slip down a flight of stairs or slip on ice or slip on a wet ground and pivot their knee the wrong way. Not all patients need have to have surgery for their anterior cruciate ligament injury. All patients, we, always, we routinely say, should have rehab as part of their initial therapy. Physical therapy is an integral aspect and just as important as the actual reconstruction. The ability of an athlete to get back to competitive sports is pretty predictable now. Typically, on average, they, we usually tell patients that they'll be able to start running in about three months after their surgery, work on side-to-side -side agility about four months after their surgery, and frequently in the best case scenarios, they'll get back to their competitive sports at about the six-month mark. However, that is predicted and predilected whether on the patient is strong enough, has good quad control, and has all their agility back.